Transitional seasons can be awfully interesting meteorologically speaking. You get wild swings in temperature, you bring in some thunderstorm chances, that's going to be tomorrow. Start out actually pretty warm in the 50s, near 60 at lunchtime. The rain chance starts to increase at lunch. Storm chances increase in the latter part of the day as we're in the mid 60s. There's also a wind advisory. So let's show you how we get there. We take you to the Max Track Live Doppler. First of the rain starting to show up still to our north and west, although maybe a little sprinkle somewhere there around Bardstown, maybe a, more toward a Chaplin. Uh, you also look at a couple of showers there in southern Indiana, but the movement has now been from southwest to northeast. This is the developing warm front and the bigger system. You see everything out here to our west. So the main thing still has a long time before it gets here, but it's on the way. Low pressure is going to deepen rapidly on the map, and what that means for us is it's going to suck more in, air into it. That means it gets windier. For Saturday, it's windy and warm. We are tracking that storm potential and could be a stronger storm in there. Regardless of the storm potential, the ambient winds are going to be in the 30 to 40 mile per hour range with the gusts. Sunday, a 25 degree drop and conceivably a snowflake or two. So the wind advisory on Saturday gusts 35 to maybe a 45 mile per hour gust out there. And a strong storm does remain a possibility, although it is a slim one. The other thing that will happen, any leaves left in your yard should be gone. So you've got that to look forward to. Strong southwesterly winds, so there are the hourly peak wind gusts as depicted by our future track. Most of them remain in the 30 to 40 mile per hour range throughout the course of the day. What's really interesting here, you see how we get you to 7 o'clock. You can see where the front is right there. That's where the compression, where the convergence takes place. That's also the back edge of the strongest winds as the winds will gradually subside as we move into the evening hours tomorrow. A quarter to a half inch general rainfall around the area, with the, depending on exactly where the heaviest storms line up. Warm front crossing the area now, so temperatures will hold pretty steady. The balance of tonight, that stray shower potential. You see all those lines? Those are all isobars. You put a whole bunch of them together, it gets windy. And that's what it's going to be the case for us tomorrow. The shower and thunderstorm chance will increase latter part of the afternoon, then into the evening. That line of showers and storms comes through, and again, the wind gust. Potential certainly is there. Then by the latter part of the evening, we'll sweep all of that out. The winds go northwesterly. The cold air pours in, and that'll be the big change that we feel on Sunday. The good news for the Thanksgiving week, that big high will come in and pretty tranquil weather associated with it. 40s now being pushed off to the northeast. Most of us are now in the 50s for the balance of tonight. Low down into the low 50s, more clouds and a stray shower chance and a breezy night. Mid-60s tomorrow, the wind advisory. Rain and storms arriving in the afternoon. Rest of your forecast, Sunday is a cold day with highs in the upper 30s. Thanksgiving week, generally tranquil. More LAXAT news after this.